Hi there, and thank you for joining the first ever Creator's Blog Hop today. A blog hop is basically a video hop. And my name is Jan, and I'm from iheartcards2.blogspot.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S., and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Birds and Branches gift card holder. The products I will be using for this project will be listed below this video. Just click on the word Show More, and you'll see them listed there. The inks I'm using on this project today are Pear Pizzazz, Seaside Spray, Early Espresso, Soft Suede, and Crumb Cake. And I've stamped on a half a sheet of Whisper White cardstock. The nests are Crumb Cake, and I've stamped one on each end. Uh, the one end that I'm stamping on right now are the items that are going to be cut out with the individual pieces. The nest on the other end with the branch on it is going to be the big focal point and a stitched scalloped rectangle die will be used to cut it out. This is a piece of bumblebee cardstock and I'm going to stamp with Versa Mark ink on it the little flowers for the gift card holder. Um, I'm going to use clear powder and my heat gun to uh, give the appearance of a darker bumblebee ink on this. Bumblebee is one of the new in colors uh, that are going to be available for the next two years. I've used my Big Shot for all of the die cuts for this project. Now I'm going to use my Stampin' Up! Stamparatus to stamp the sentiments for the gift card holder. I'm using Misty Moonlight ink to stamp these. Uh, this one is going on a half inch strip of Seaside Spray and the other sentiment is going on the inside layer which is Whisper White cardstock. I'm adhering the stitched scalloped rectangle to a mat of Seaside Spray. Uh, and I'm using multi-purpose liquid glue to do this. I'm coloring the little bird with the Poppy Parade stamp and blends alcohol markers. First I've applied the lighter color and then gone back in and added the darker color. Come back in again with the light color uh, to blend that dark into the light. I love coloring with these markers. They make everything so easy. I'm going to adhere the feet to the little bird with a glue dot that I've partially rolled up just to make sure it isn't going to be seen. I've used my Take Your Pick tool for this. It's very good for glue dots and other embellishments, uh, even the sunflower centers that I used. I've added some mini Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of the nest and I've adhered it to the stitched scalloped rectangle. And now I'm going to adhere the little bird to the left side of the nest with a combination of liquid glue and more mini dimensionals. You can add some dimension to the little flowers by using a flower stylus to press in the centers and that will make them kind of curl up a little bit. I 
I'm going to adhere the eggs to the nest with just a little bit of liquid glue. Liquid glue will give you just a little bit of wiggle room. Sometimes you need that. I'm using the in color enamel dots uh, for 2020 to 2022 for the flower centers on the little sunflowers. I've chosen the cinnamon cider dots uh, because I, sunflowers typically have a darker center. I'm going to use the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch to cut the ends of my Seaside Spray Sentiment label. This punch will cut six different sizes with two different styles of ends, and it's currently my new favorite tool. I'm adhering the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper to the gift card holder with multi-purpose liquid glue. Um, this is going on the inside layer, and then the other two pieces are going to go on the gift card flap and the card front underneath the stitched scalloped rectangle. I like to use tear and tape on the inside of the gift card holder flap. Uh, this is a strong adhesive and I think it's perfect uh, for this purpose. I used a three quarter inch circle punch to cut a finger hole into the credit card flap. And now I'll remove the covers and adhere it in place over um, an old gift card that I saved for this purpose. I've used the multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere the last two elements to the gift card holder. If you are in the United States and need a demonstrator, then you can order your supplies in my online store by clicking on the link provided below. If you're interested in earning a discount on your Stampin' Up! purchases, I'd love to have you join my team, and you can purchase the starter kit by clicking on that link, which you will also find listed below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you click on the little bell, you will receive notifications when I post any new content. Thank you for sharing this time with me, and I'll see you soon.